All right, welcome back to Nebuchadnezzar, episode 31. So, we have a, a pretty good population going here. I do want to sell some more goods, if possible. Uh, I'm up to 117,000. I don't have enough population here to actually sustain all my workers, especially for the villas. And the the base population, the standard houses, I'm only at uh, 1% unemployment. So I'm going to need to find a way in order to uh, probably to get some more workers and also just to... to to shore up some um, some trade. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to bring in uh, the papyrus and get those villas up to the next level. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up uh, I'm going to have to decorate some more in order to get the uh, appeal up. So I'm going to need to start creating ornaments uh, for these for this population which I already have and I'm just I'm selling it but what I'm gonna need to do now is actually distribute it so what I'm doing now is I'm just looking to see where I need to place the ornaments in order to get them up to um, you know the next level I'm actually doing it to, to get them all the way up to the to the top level um, so I don't have to go and do it again. But since I have the money now, um, I just spent, uh, you know, a lot of money right there just to get them up. But uh, what I'm doing right now is setting up the distribution for the ornaments and the papyrus. So uh, these, are, these are very long roots that I'm making here. So I'm trying to... Um, figure out how to get every every single house um, captured and there we go so yeah I mean that's really where I'm at right now is I gotta I've, I've got to get the papyrus to come in um, I've got to have the ornaments come in through through ivory I gotta basically turn turn off the sales of it uh, so that I can distribute it and we'll get the we'll get the population going so i'll set up this caravan in order to um to deliver the ornaments over here next to this shop and then i can have uh, a walker seller go and sell those ornaments to that area there and hopefully I can get uh, quite a few more of the villa population the townsfolk to come in and I can get all my industry all my industry going I'm selling quite a bit of goods so I mean it says that I'm making four thousand six hundred and 30 profit per year uh, which is fine my economy is looking pretty good here there are some things that I'm short on uh, like furniture for example you just saw that the residence is there just uh, a little bit shy so um, we're going to figure that out but now I'm importing 80 papyrus and I've used two warehouses and a bunch of caravans in order to uh, to bring them in and what I'm noticing here is that uh, copper jewelry is just is sparse it's not being delivered uh, to the population that well and I'm just wondering why and that's because there's a steel there and that's not going to be good for any kind of um, delivery and actually, once I took that out, they still aren't bringing it in. So I just took out the, the, the haulers and I put them back in. And now all of a sudden, uh, the copper jewelry is getting um, disseminated again. So that's good. 
hopefully we can keep that population up. We're pretty much back to where we were before. We're 20 workers shy um, for standard workers. But you can see the villa population now is actually at unemployment. So we're, we, whatever we are doing here in order to, to bring them in, um, we, are a, we, we are able to do that and get some more population. So at, uh, you know, what's amazing is at 1.00, we're at minus two people. So only two people out of all those workers are looking for a job. And as you can tell, the housing is, is not completely stable because it's, I now have 34 people that are, um, I need 34 jobs filled. So it's not quite sustainable. Now it's actually at minus 34. So it's kind of back and forth. I can go ahead. I got plenty of meat. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have another warehouse set up to get uh, for meat. Uh, and I'm going to basically transport that meat over um, so that we can get that dispersed to the residences over there. And furniture, I'm going to also bring in more furniture. So what I'm kind of doing here is I'm... I'm just trying to focus a little bit more on bringing in the goods to the people rather than selling them. Uh, I'm trying to get serious actually now about raising up the prestige and getting that last bit so that I can bring in uh, some more copper, I think, some more wood. I've got a big population to, to sustain here. And so it's... Um, it's actually going fairly well right now when you look at it. Um, I just now got another trade opportunity. So that's good. And I can uh, import some more wood. I can give them the meat in order to kick that off. Um, I am going to need more wood for the furniture because I just am not bringing in enough right now. Um, Taking a look through all my trade possibilities and there's the wood I'm just going to bring in the full amount so I can bring in a hundred wood maximum per year and what I'm going to do is build some more carpenters in order to make some more furniture so that I can sustain that population I'm actually going to need a few more it's just not enough so we'll do another another couple there we are And I'm going to probably need to, I mean, I have 121 furniture, but uh, I got 120 wood. So that's, that's good. I want to sell some of that furniture, try to make some money. Cause I mean, if you import more wood, it's going to cost more. So I, I was able now to raise up this, this villa population, um, somewhat but uh, now I'm getting I'm short on ornaments by quite a few to be honest with you so I've, I've really got to um, got to get some more ornaments what I'm doing now is I'm just setting up another house uh, trying to get in more more workers and slowly but surely the city is growing. We're up over 18,000 population uh, for the first time, and uh, we are over 800 prestige. And I got to bring that up to 1,440. And you can see the city's kind of just going up and down, up and down. Uh, it's it's mainly due to the fact that I just don't have enough goods coming in, I, I, especially copper. Um, the copper jewelry you can see right here is, this is, these are actually ornaments that I'm looking at right now. And uh, the ornaments are coming in a little bit better. Um, there's one house that's not getting something. It's right there in the corner. It all was, was, a, uh, was, a, was an appeal thing. Uh, there's my, um, okay, so we got up to 950, and now we can bring in more copper. 
and as soon as I can, I am going. So I'm turning off the sale of furniture. I'm going to give them furniture. There you go. And now I can bring in more copper, and I'm going to bring it all in. I got to get to 64 glorious villas, so I'm going to use as much copper as I possibly can import in order to to get more copper jewelry made. So what I'm doing now is I'm rearranging a little bit of the the um, just a little bit of the of the warehousing so that I can uh, try to get you know copper closer to the uh, copper jewelers copper makers so that we can attempt I can put one right in the middle there and hopefully um, we can do that so now we're up to 120 121 from 120 just like we did with the wood we're doing with the copper and we're, we're just trying to maximize the work of the output that we get from the input of the copper I don't want bricks to go there anymore. That was a long time ago. Um, I'm bringing in more dates than probably even what I need. Um, I got plenty of dates. That's what I'm looking at right now. It's like, man, I've got dates all over the place. So I'm going to actually take off a worker. And then that gives me uh, six people looking, uh, six, six open vacancies. But now we're at minus 30. So that's good. That means that every single business, every single building that I have right now has, has workers. And that's crucial. You gotta make sure you're keeping track of that and that um, you're, on, you're on top of make, uh, that your buildings are actually um, full of people. And right now um, the the monument has been built, so I don't need as many brickworks um, to be going on because uh, I can only export so many, about 80, I think. So um, I, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm trying to get a little bit more uh, pottery here so I can make sure that's sustained, and uh, and I, I can go ahead and. Send the furniture off, even though I need it. I I have to send it off because you really do want to keep up prestige, and the reason for that is um, they will con they continue to sell goods uh, at a cheaper rate, and you can um, buy them at a cheaper sell goods at a more expensive rate and buy them at a cheaper rate. All right, so. Uh, let's fast forward in time just a little bit here. There's not much really I did, but the monument did get built. It, it was completed, and um, what I did was kind of lessening the, the number of uh, bricks um, that, that are being made because I really don't, don't want overflow of bricks at this point. I don't need it. Um, I just need to, to export as much, you know, as the bricks that are needed in order to do that to get the money. So we're bringing in maximum of goods all over the place. Um, here are the brick works. This is what I was talking about here. So it's, there, it's just right now, it's just overkill. There's just there's too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove some of these brickworks, some of these clay vines. Um, that'll give me some more workers. Uh, I'm looking good on pretty much everything uh, except for ornaments. I've got to get more ornaments over to the villas. And um, the, the clay, uh, it says I'm consuming more than what I'm producing, but I looked around and it looks like every single place has enough clay so uh, I'm not too worried about that I'm going to take out um, some more of these brick works I just don't need that many I just need enough to, to export 
So I'm looking at the, see, this is what I'm looking at right now going, hmm, where, where is it lacking clay? I mean, it's, uh, it seems like that everybody's got clay and there's no, there's no shortage of it. So apparently, you know, I, I, I'm doing fine on that. So moving on to something different, which is most likely getting the ornaments, um, into, uh, into the, the population so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna bring in as much ivory as I possibly can which is what I'm doing now so I'm mac maximizing all the the ivory uh, intake and I'm setting up you know the warehouses to make sure that the uh, the copper is in the right spot that the ivory is in the right spot and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna need to rework this area a little bit over here but over here is where I need to, to get more of the carvers because the um, the ivory is going to be coming in so now I'm, I'm at 121 ornaments and 120 ivory so I've maxed out that just like the copper and the wood the only thing that you cannot get a hundred a hundred or 120 of is papyrus unfortunately in this mission they have throttled you back to what is it uh, 80 so you can only bring in 80 and you got to get 64 glorious villas out of that so you're you're not gonna with, with, you have to have a big population though of, um, of villas in order to as you could tell in an earlier episode, I had to have more villa workers. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to uh, to continue on. So I had to build that extra row of villas just to get workers. And you can see with the workers that I have right now, the townspeople, I'm at uh, fluctuating between in, you know unemployment, which is right now, to where I need people later on. So it's um, it's a constant fluctuation because. Uh, because I just don't have I don't have enough papyrus coming in to have the entire population served, but I am making enough ornaments now. So you're seeing that my unemployment of the townspeople are, is up to 15% now. So um, it will go down and back up, but as long as it doesn't drop to zero or or you know go above that, then I, I'm fine with that because uh, I have to have a a thriving production economy here all right so uh, fast forward just a little bit more here and I just basically kind of ran it a little bit um, we are making enough um, trade to actually be profitable which is great we've got 21 over 21,000 in the city with uh, 1270 prestige um, we're going to need to focus on bringing, you know, making seals, bringing in stone. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing here. And I'm setting all that, that up over here to do that. So what I did is I made a port that's closer to the villas and I'm going to bring in the stone and make the seals there. I'm also going to bring in, it's close, kind of close to the residences as well. So I'm going to bring in gold as well. Um, in a little bit and I'm also going to bring in uh, so I can make the, the gold jewelry so what I'm doing right now is I'm just setting up the um, the seal production and I'm also bringing in the papyrus over there too so it's closer to the um, to the population I'm, I'm hoping that that constant flow of the 80 papyrus is going to be able to to sustain a certain level of, of the population and hopefully get to 64 glorious villas because that that's that's one of the achievements here that I've got to I've got to make um, the other thing that I'm going to have to do in order to get those glorious villas is I'm going to need to start setting up some kind of olive oil and also um, clothing 
So that's those are really the last pieces. I'm looking right now at the papyrus, and it's, I mean, it's coming in, but once again, I can only do 80, and I've got 98 houses. So uh, it's about as good as it's gonna as as it gets right now. I mean, I'm at 18, 19 percent unemployment for the villa population. Um, I have the caravans that are bringing in the papyrus as quickly as I possibly can. It's at 0.74. It's it's about as good as it's going to get. I mean, my residences over here are just fine. I have enough furniture for them. I have enough meat for them. Uh, so I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm trying to sell as much as I possibly can and still keep you know, a thriving economy going. Um, I'm making tons of copper jewelry. Um, and I'm just trying to get it out of the warehouses as quickly as I possibly can. That's why I'm getting all these caravans to, to do that. So I'm monitoring these caravans. You know, if you've been playing this game along with me, you realize that when you get to a big city like that and have all these goods being transported far distances you do need a lot of caravans and you've got to make sure that they are grabbing this stuff as quickly as they are making it out of these warehouses and i'm trying to do that but as you can see these warehouses are are, are going up by so much i'm just wondering if it's maybe better to have like two areas instead of one big area that's going into two warehouses but and I'm wondering also maybe it's better if I if in future missions if I brought the goods in and had caravans ship them over to another work area uh, kind of like I do, I'm doing with the meat it seems like that might just be a better move and I'm doing that actually with the um, with the ornaments as well I'm putting them all in that work area but they're really far away from the, the the population that needs it. So you can tell, here I am, setting up another caravan uh, for a um, for ornaments to try to get them out of that warehouse. And I'm speeding it up and seeing they're not able to do it. So guess what? I need to have another caravan bring more of those ornaments over there. Just so that, it, that there, I got constant, you can see I'm monitoring it and seeing if it goes to full. And it went just one short, so I'm like, okay, I guess I'm bringing in as much ornaments as I possibly can over there, and that's about all I can do. So here we go. You can see I've got the seals going over here, and I've got the gold jewelry that's starting to come in. And we are up to 13 luxurious residences just by creating the, you know, making those seals and bringing in. Uh, the copper jewelry I'm sorry the gold jewelry and I'm getting pretty close to actually finish this, this mission uh, what I need to do is just bring in the olive oil and what I'm gonna have to do is also make clothes so now clothes is the first thing that actually goes through three processes and that is you grow the flax then you uh, make linen out of the flax, and then you make the clothes out of the linen. So it's it's quite a detailed process. Um, I'm setting up the um, the flax field here. And I'm going to start making flax, and I'm, I'm, I need to make enough flax to, to get... 64 clothes at the very minimum uh, so that I can get 64 uh, glorious villas and what I'm considering now is well, what why can't I just bring in a warehouse um, right right next to that flax farm and then just bring in the flax there and then I can bring in another warehouse over in this area here The only problem is that I looked and I'm like, oh my gosh, I only have 16 people that are looking for work. So I got to set up three flax farms 
and now all of a sudden I'm out of workers again. And that's that's not good because that's those workers are gonna be trying to are taking goods from one place to another mainly. And I that that's I gotta get more. I gotta have more workers. So what I did is I set up this work area over here. I built a couple of livestock farms, I built a couple of crop farms, and I just bring in bread and milk to them, and now all of a sudden I've got 1,126 workers, and my population's gone up to, it, just, it was just over 23,000. So uh, that's what I had to do in order to, to just get some more basic workers. Uh, what I wanna do here is I wanna bring in um, those, those linen uh, makers so that I can quickly just get the linen over into that um, over into that warehouse I'm gonna have four there because I've got two farms they should all be able to, to, to grab from that one warehouse I'm gonna be able to make uh, 54 linen out of that so I'm gonna have to set up a couple of more there we go and then I'll put a little road there between them and their warehouse. And then I'm going to have to, whenever that that linen gets made, I'm going to have to bring that over into that warehouse. So I'll set up the linen to, to go there. There we are. And then that warehouse will actually get the clothes. I dumped that other warehouse with the clothes because of what I want to do is I actually want to get closer to the, uh, much closer to the, I don't actually even need a warehouse uh, for clothes because I already got a clothes warehouse that's built. It's just uh, waiting to, um, to take in the goods and it's right over there. So. And the, the linen, so the clothes shop uses the aristocrats, uh, which is the reason why you need a pretty hefty size population of residences in this mission, because they, they are the ones who are going to make the clothes. So now I've got 81 clothes that, are, that, that can be made. Um, and I... Ideally, when the when these clothes start to come in and this olive oil starts to get distributed, the villa population will go up. As you can see right there, there's our first one. So we got our gl first glorious villa and our villa population is starting to rise. And you can see we've got 18 glory uh, luxurious residences. Um, and now we're starting to get up to almost 20 glorious villas. So our prestige and our population, those goals have been met, which is fantastic. I don't have to worry about that. I just need to get 64 glorious villas, and this mission is over. So I'm just going to run this thing and see what happens, because I've got all the goods that are coming in. And I'm monitoring olive oil, and olive oil is getting dispersed, and I'm monitoring... Um, I've got, I'm not even going to, I'm going to just export a little bit of it because I'm trying to bring in as much as I possibly can. So we're at, uh, 23 glorious villas. We're at 21 luxurious residences. I'm not worried about them. I just want to get this olive oil over there. So I'm just putting caravans, just massive number of caravans to bring in olive oil. And now we're seeing it go up and there's that mission complete. You know, th th this was a very challenging mission and I think the papyrus thing made it kind of probably more challenging uh, and maybe the developers did that on purpose uh, in order to do that. But I'm just kind of running it here to see if I can stay over top of it and see if it's somewhat sustainable. And it's actually doing okay uh, the issue is, though, is that I am losing money every year. I'm not able to actually have a balanced budget. Let's put it that way. 
I'm able to stay up over. Let's see, that went down to 63. Glorious Villas. It went down to, it's at 63 right now, and then it goes back up to 76. So it's sustainable in a way, but what it's not sustainable is the balanced budget. So if you want, I'm going to have another episode, a bonus episode for this, where I actually make this sustainable. And uh, you can take a look at that uh, mission uh, and that uh, the end of this mission. I'm just going to tweak this a little bit more. And um, hopefully you'll check that out. Thanks a lot for watching.